We are bikepacking 2,500 miles across Europe from London to Istanbul, Turkey. In the previous video, we were invited to a party by a nice Croatian family and stayed the night there due to a massive rainstorm. In this video, we make our way towards the Serbian border. We're in Serbia, country number 12. As we head towards Belgrade. Along the way, we face more challenges with the weather as well as our bikes. I'm just hitting this mental wall. Passing by some apple orchards today. Reminds me of Italy. We just made it through the Schengen border. So I think we're kind of in like a no man's land just over the Danube until we will be in Serbia. We're in Serbia, country number 12. Welcome to Serbia. That's how I know you're in Serbia. The signs are in Cyrillic and Latin. All right, now that we're in Serbia, officially we've crossed the border. The top priority right now is to get something at a bakery because we have to try bakery in every country we go to. All right, we just crossed the border into Serbia and we see our first church. We're going in and I hear music, so maybe there's something happening inside. Alright guys, this was such a nice stop. We ended up meeting a deacon here who spoke amazing English, like American accented English. And he said he learned from watching American television shows. Like he loves Married with Children. It's an Eastern Orthodox church and he even invited us to stay in his house if we were like, oh, we still have far to go. But people are so nice in this area. This would not happen in the US, I don't think. We haven't done enough bike touring in the US to know because a lot of the stuff we did was like in nature and mountains. Oh, this is just, it's amazing. So Bronco, you're awesome. We had fun meeting you. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna try to find a bakery. That's the goal. All right, we got our barrack from this bakery here, just right across from the church. Give it a try. Mmm. Wow. This might be the best barrack we've had. I think it's really good. Got a lot of flavor. I like the cheese. I think the cheese is almost like a goat cheese. So I don't know if you'll like it, but good strong flavor. A little bit greasy, but I mean, it's a barrack. So <laughs> so for those you don't know, it's sort of like a pie, but I think they use a lot of like oil and thing for the layers and then it's filled with cheese. They also have like meat options as well, but this one is just cheese. Really, really good. Finally, after so many days biking on a busy highway, we now have a really nice trail. Look at this trail. This is beautiful. All right, it's been a beautiful bike path, mostly following the Danube. Super nice, little homes along the side. I really like this area so far. And another edition of Alex Makes a Friend. All right, this is such a busy road. Cars are just racing way too close by us. I really hope we can get on the bike trail soon because it's just dangerous. Uh, okay. 
hey, 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 hey. Get away, get away, get away. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, get out of here. Looks like the rain started kind of about right on time, so the campsite's about six miles away. Hopefully we can make it before it pours. Really going biking on the road in the dark. It's just so dangerous. Seco camp you don't gonna have. Okay, we just got to the place we're staying for the night. Oh, should I turn this off? No, it's fine. Um, we are staying with a family that opens up their backyard slash vineyard to uh, cycle tourists. And we're just setting up our tent now. Definitely got dark on the way back, which wasn't ideal, but it wasn't too bad. We got back in time. Well, I guess we got back safe. <laughs> the cars, guys, in Serbia do not give you much room on the side we've noticed like so it's very nerve-wracking like if they were just like you know a few inches closer they could knock us down so I'm really hoping we can avoid highways yeah we tried as much as we could and we couldn't fully avoid them I think we're a very short ride tomorrow to Belgrade and then we're gonna stay a couple days there to explore all right we'll see you guys That was a terrible night's sleep. It rained all night, like, and I don't mean just sprinkled, I mean it literally poured all night. I think it's done now, but I think all of our stuff is wet because the, the ground got so moist that the um, stakes would just like pull out of the ground and then the rain fly would flop against the tent. Both of our shoes are just completely soaked. Everything is soaked. Sleeping bags are wet because this rain fly doesn't stay out. It's fantastic. All right, good morning, everybody. It is day something. I'll put it on the screen. And we just left our campground, Cyclo Camp Vineyard. Very nice owner and everything. We just had a rough night because of the constant pouring rain. So we are not well slept at all. But it's an interesting setup she has there. Um, she's a fellow cycle tourist. She has a composting toilet, a solar shower. It's literally in her vineyard and they serve food there too. Anyways, nice day. Got lots of recommendations for Belgrade, which I'm really excited for. So I would recommend guys, if you ever are doing the, any part of the Year of L6 over here, I think this is also part of the Sultan Trail. Um, and this is a great stop. It's in between Novi Sad and Belgrade. Um, so we have a very short day today. We only have about 35 miles, but we are getting a super late start because it was pouring this morning, so we stayed in the tent really long. Everything's wet and our bikes are grinding a lot because every time we're in muddy, wet conditions, our bikes just seem to... can't handle it. All right, guys, we're going to hit the road. The gunk was just too bad. It wouldn't shift, so... Alex is having to clean this puppy up, degrease it. So Alex keeps trying different things, degreased it, and it's just not shifting. It looks like, I don't know, I'm guessing it's something wrong with the shifter or the cable because back here and then on the derailleur, that's moving just fine. So there's some disconnect between the cable or the shifter and the derailleur. I don't know how to fix that. All right, guys, so not being able to shift gears is proving problem. This is going to be a real problem if we have another 25 miles of this. Because every time I have to shift gear, Alex is going to have to manually put it in. We hopefully we can get this fixed in Belgrade. I'm nervous because another cyclist who has been giving us some intel ahead of time ran into issues with his bike in Belgrade and had to fly to Istanbul to get it fixed. So I'm very nervous about that. I mean, it's just a break. It's just a shifter cable. Okay, did you manually put it in the higher gear? Uh, I tried. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, try that. Might have to do this multiple times. I really, really hate this road. On our way into Belgrade, we got stuck in a major traffic jam on a narrow, hilly road. Okay, honey, be careful, please. 
we attempted to avoid the traffic, but ended up taking our bikes on a series of steep staircases. This sucks. I, I don't even know what to say. As we got closer to the city center, we finally found our way onto some nice but crowded bike lanes. Worst three cities to bike in so far. At number three, London. Number two, Zagreb. Number one, here in Belgrade. Although now that we're on this really nice bike lane near the water, it is significantly better. But before, like getting into the city onto this bike lane was terrible. All right, hey everybody, we are in our place here in Belgrade. We will be spending about three nights here because we want three nights equals basically two full days. So one mostly rest day and one mostly exploration day. It feels like from here we'll be beginning the last phase of our trip. I think it's only about three weeks left once we leave Belgrade. So like a week to Bulgaria, a week in Bulgaria and then a week in Turkey. We're exhausted, all of our stuff is still wet so we gotta kinda air it out in this place. I'm excited to have some chill time. The getting in here to Belgrade was so exhausting and just, wow, kinda stressful with all the traffic. So we will catch you up later. Everybody. We're going to be exploring Belgrade for the day. Yesterday we took a day off, a much needed day off, and we got my bike fixed as much as it can get. Honestly, I need a whole new cassette. I'm not going to be able to go in the first gear. But anyways, we're excited to go explore Belgrade, and we're going to try some Serbian food, and we're kicking it off here at this fortress. This park has like a number of different fortresses and some underground tunnels, so we're going to go explore. So there's a lot of construction happening right now. <laughs> Not sure we're gonna be able to see this fully. Probably doing a lot of renovations. After exploring the fortress, we made our way over to Ferdinand Canadla to try some traditional Balkan food. All right guys, we're at a restaurant for some Canedal. We think it's how it's pronounced. And um, I don't actually know if it's considered traditional here. It's popular in so many different regions in this area. So who knows who actually started it, but it's popular here. And so we got one savory and two sweet. So I'm gonna start with the savory. You may notice a shining here. I mean, Alex just bumped heads very hard. Um, as we were sitting down, we're both feeling very tired still. So if we're low energy in this vlog, that's probably why. But we're gonna give this a go. This is a mushroom and truffle. So it looks like this. Interesting. It's got like a bunch of sesame seeds and like black seeds on top. And then like some mushroom gunk in the middle. That's good. I love truffle oil. It tastes like mashed potatoes with like mushrooms and truffle oil inside. That's good. So the woman here said that the plum's the traditional one, so we're gonna try that. We also got a pistachio. Ooh. Whoa, that's got like full plums in there. Interesting. So it looks like that. So it's got like a full plum in there. <laughs> mm. That tastes like like plum pie. That's really good. You're gonna love that. Wow. We should have gotten two of that one. That's really good. It's nicely spiced too. So yeah, my favorite is the plum and then next is the mushroom. Nice. Okay guys, we had quite a bit of things planned here, but I think Alex is just too tired today. I wonder if we're coming down with something. Yesterday we chilled a lot too, so we might end up not being able to do everything, unfortunately, in this town if we wanted to, but We'll have to come back someday, I'm sure. All right, good morning, everybody. We are finally leaving 
where are we? Belgrade. Belgrade. <laughs> this happens when you travel for a while, you forget where you are. Um, but we are finally leaving Belgrade and we are going to try to do a big day today. We're gonna leave our Airbnb and try to do about 70 plus miles today. Also, just to fill you in, so I think we last updated you with Alex starting to feel sick during our exploration day. So we ended up taking the rest of the day off. Yesterday, we ended up extending our Airbnb an extra day. So we've actually been here four days, um, which is like our longest day we've done. But we both are feeling like we've recovered from whatever we were starting to come down with. So we're feeling ready to go and have a good hard day. You always feel really motivated after taking time off to like bust through some miles. So I think we're both feeling that energy. So hopefully we can crank through these 70 miles plus today. Gosh, I cannot wait to get out of the city. Always the least favorite part of doing these types of trips. Okay, so two things. The shifting is better, but now my brakes are even more loose than they were before. So like, I can't fully brake unless I can put my foot down, which obviously is not safe. So we're gonna have to fix that. I just wanna get out of the city so bad. I don't wanna take the time right now. Getting out of the city with the bike is very stressful for me. We've been going in circles. It's supposed to be this thing here. We were just up there. I don't want to go on that thing with a bike. Wait, do we go that way? It's been rough getting out of the city, let's just say. Someone's helping Alex find how to get on this bridge. Much better road. Oh no, doggies. I don't know if they're mean dogs. All right guys, it's good to be away from the city, but we're definitely on some rough terrain that's slow going now. It's nice, it's really pretty being out here, but it's also, I don't know how we're gonna make up our time. I feel like I've been kind of stressed out lately. I don't know, for some reason, I've been kind of hitting this mental wall. You know, we only have about 700 miles left of this trip. I'm determined to finish. I'm just hitting this mental wall and it's making it hard to find the motivation to continue. It's sometimes making it hard to just like get on the bike and go. Check out this cool looking church. I got some things from the bakery here for lunch, but I had to just give it a try now. And it's sticking out of the bag, so I had to just have a little bit of it. So, mm. it's like one of those bagel type of things that we had in Germany, but it's a little bit like almost like crispy and flaky as well. Really good. Bagel type thing. Uh, pretzel, sorry. Pretzel. It's one of those pretzel kind of things. It's like a pretzel bread fusion. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm excited, I want to try. Uh, have a bite, it's so good. Daily bakery stop. I think it has butter on it or something like that. Look at that, wow. So good. Taking a pause, because Alex got a completely flat front tire, which is a little concerning. I think the only thing I can do is replace the inner tube. Gosh. We decided we might as well just have lunch since we need to be here for a while. It's unfortunate. I feel like every time we have the goal to do a lot of miles, something comes up. It's You never can know what's gonna happen on a trip like this. I think, um, 
we're gonna be longer than the 10 weeks we planned. In case you guys haven't deduced by now, Alex does all the repairing in our relationship. I do offer to help pump things, but he usually insists on doing it. And this is Alex working away. So I got the inner tube replaced, now I just gotta fill it up. So did the tube get busted somehow? Yeah, somehow, because I filled this up and now it's flat again. So somehow my old inner tube's got a hole in it somewhere. We need to buy another tube then, that's the only one, right? Yeah, we don't have a spare tube, so if something happens, we're screwed. A lot of cows and dogs. We just got to our campground, which is kind of like Campo Vineyard in that it's like in somebody's backyard. We didn't go as far as we'd hoped to today because of some of the mechanical issues. But anyways, so we're gonna go set up camp. Hopefully we have no problems tomorrow. Well, if we get an early start tomorrow, we can do a long day. Alex, come on, let's get it together. I got him good. Or she, sorry. The ones that bite you are the females. <laughs> are you just implying something? I'm just saying that's how it is for mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. On the next episode, we are heading towards the Iron Gate. This is the most pretty spot of our trips so far. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. Ow. Stupid bugs won't stop eating me. Baby, there's a cockroach. This is how Alex texts out if the spot's yeah. flat enough. Mosquitoes. Alex's favorite. <laughs>